What is up? How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing well. I know I'm doing really well here. Yet again, I got my hands on another kid of beat eye that I wanted to report back on. Let everyone see uh, some of the settings and some of the benchmark scores that I was able to achieve. So it's the same general setup that I have been running lately. So it's I'm running with the AMD Ryzen 7 3800X. It's a static overclock on all cores at a 44 gigahertz and it's at 1.275 volts. I'm running that on the Asus ROG Crosshair 7 Hero board, which is the X470 chipset. BIOS version is 3004, so that'd be a GISA 1004. And then you can also you can see my clocks here. I'm running at a 3800 megahertz, the diamond standard. 14, 14, 14, 26, 40, uh, TRFC 238, and Commander 81. So, and then you can see my, my sticks here. It's a team group setup. It's a 41, 33 at uh, 18, 18, 18, 38 at 1.4 volts. So, uh, let's go ahead and just show you what we're talking about here. So, this is a team group T4. So, this is my first kit of, uh, of these team group here, and I've been... Uh, so impressed with it. This is probably my most impressive kit of beat eye that I've had so far, and I've had a number of kits as uh, everyone I've seen. So uh, I saw this bin here on a PC Part Picker and then Newegg, and it was a 4133, 4133, uh, 18, 18, 18, 38 at 1 1.4 volts. So that's pretty low voltage, 1.4. I was expecting 1.45 volts. So I saw that, that 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 might give me a little bit of overclocking headroom. So this was a kit that I was looking at, thinking, ah, eh, that one might actually overclock pretty well. And uh, this one actually is really good. This is, like I said before, it might be my best kit of beat eye so far. It actually runs the tightest timings. It's tied at the top. Uh, I've got two kits that run this, these timings with, uh, with no errors. But uh, they've got really nice packaging. Team Root does. It kind of reminds me of G-Skill. comes out really nice. Uh, nice box, nice packaging. they got a nice sticker there with it. Um, the sticks themselves, they're heavy. I mean, they're, they're as heavy as the G-Skill one. So they've got that nice brushed aluminum. It's really heavy, it's dense, it's thick, it looks good, but I mean, it looks pretty tough. You know, th these definitely are uh, masculine, masculine uh, ram sticks. So uh, they're heavy, like I said, and they're also really tall. So if, if you've got a CPU cooler with uh, fans and so on that hang over those first slots or the first two slots, you might run into some issues with these because these are a little bit taller than some of those G-Skill uh, Trident Zs. But uh, they look great. There's no RGB, so we don't have to worry about any RGB software. Um, tin layer PCB, so it's really thick. A really thick PCB. It's nice. Everything's really dense and heavy. Like they feel really high quality. So when you compare these uh, at about $150 with the the Patriot Vipers that I have, um, these feel a lot better. They're a lot a uh, lot heavier, a lot a lot better heat spreader. At least uh, f when we're talking about uh, what it feels like. So these are really great. I really like these. They look wonderful. You can see there's those Patriot Vipers I had. I actually I've had four of these so far. Four kits of these, and uh, my fourth one, my fourth kit, which I still have, which I just got recently. Um, these two are the two tightest timings I can run at 3800 megahertz. So those are my two best kits right there. Just wanted to show a couple of my kits there. You see this Trident Z Royal kit here. I actually sold this. I wasn't really able to. I wasn't able to make a video on this, but I just ran these a little bit. This is a, this is a forty uh, four thousand megahertz at CL seventeen uh, one point three five volts. So this was a pretty nice bin. But I gotta say uh, these didn't clock as well as these two. But like I said, I sold them, so I didn't get a chance to make a video. So there you go. Those look terrific. Those just look excellent. I love. I really, really like these. I like the filling, and then they also are just really high quality. So let me pull up a couple more uh, pictures here. So they're, they're, they're the typical, uh, the, the kind of the newest layout. So they're a single rank. So meaning that these ICs here, these chips here, are only on one side of this PCB. So we're a single rank. Uh, this is called an A2 layout. So we have groups of four. We got four four chips here. We got space, and then we got four more chips. So that's a single rank A2 layout. That's the most popular layout now, and it's on a 10 layer PCB. So that's a really thick, uh, nice PCB there. So th these these sticks for being uh, so cost effective, they're really, really feel really high quality, and then uh, they even perform better. So uh, these are my most impressive sticks so far. So I've been super happy with these. If if you're building Ryzen, uh, buy these, buy these, especially if you're on a budget or so, and and if and if you're not really into RGB, but uh, yeah, you don't have to deal with any RGB software. That's what I love. That's what I really like about it. So some of the RGB looks really good. I do like some of the RGB, but I just hate dealing with the software. So there you go. You can see it's a little bit blurred out there, but you can see there's the there's the chips there. So it's an A2 layout. This is the best overclocking newest layout that's being used. And there you go. They look terrific. They look just 
terrific. I, I just I, I just really, really like these. Let, let's see if I can get you some scores here. So let's go ahead and roll back a little bit. There they go. They look installed. They look terrific installed too. I mean, that, that black uh, heat spreader looks really good with the motherboard. So the motherboard's black and silver and gray and so on. So those those look terrific. They look really good. You can see them. They are tall. So just keep that in mind. They're, they're, they're pretty tall. They're a little bit taller than the Triton Zs. They look terrific there, but there, there's a little score there. I ran that a little bit ago, my cache memory test on IDA. Um, it does pretty well. Uh, 57.8 looks like it's at, and then we're right about 62 nanoseconds. So 62 nanoseconds is kind of the uh, that that's kind of the wall that I've hit with all of my uh, with all of my kits. So that's pretty fast. I'm pretty happy with that. The read, the copies are all pretty good, and you can see it's at 3800, 14, 14, 14, and then my uh, CPU is at uh, 4400. So let's go back, let's look at this. I ran this one just a little bit ago. It's a, a Cinebench 20, and so I just ran it really quick here. I didn't run hardly any. And so there you go, uh, 5418. I think I've gotten up to about 5430 so far. And then when I go to uh, 4.5 gigahertz, I know I'll get over 55. But uh, you can see it there. You can see my setup. You can see the board. Uh, you can see the board. You can see the chip, how it's set, 1.275 volts, and then 14, 14, 14 on my clocks. And then you can see the SPD there, the team group with the Samsung uh, ICs, and it's the 4100 megahertz at 18, 18, 18. So I've been super happy with these. They're excellent. They're really, really excellent. So you can see my numbers here. We're running on the on the clocks, Infinity Fabric Clock 1900, and then at parity here at the memory controller at 1800 or 1900 as well. And then you know that's ends up being um what my uh, uh my transfer rate is 1900 double data times two. So there you go. There you have you have a bunch of it there. A bunch of the numbers there. They look great. Um, I've been super super happy with them. And then for them to be only 150 bucks, wow! This is some um, really good priced, high quality, highly binned uh, B die right here. So 150 bucks for the performance out of these, it, it, it's really really good. So I put these in the same class with those uh, Patriot Viper 4400 megahertz CL19 kit, and then uh, you know th those two kits. Are you know I've been able to get a little bit tighter than uh than my Triton Z Neo uh, uh 3600 CL14 kit so so these are all pretty nice I've been I mean that 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 Triton that that uh Triton Z Neo kit that I have the 3600 megahertz a CL14 that thing was 230 so I mean that's 80 bucks more than these here and uh like I said earlier these are actually performing better these are my best performing kit here at 150 bucks I mean I'm impressed put it that way. So I definitely recommend these. If anybody has any questions, any comments, you know, feel free to leave them. Uh, and if you would, you know, I'd really appreciate anybody smashing that like button, helping uh, with the algorithm a little bit. Uh, maybe leave a message or a comment or, or whatever you feel like. So I appreciate it, everybody. So everyone have a great day. Late.